Hi everyone, it has been a while since I've done a video. Summer sort of happened and we were out of lockdown and we all got a bit busy and all of a sudden it's March. So I thought I'd do a video of some note cards that I'm going to make with this winged masterpiece stamp set. This is the stamp of the month for March and it's got some gorgeous images on there with the butterfly and the dragonfly. They're so detailed and I needed to make some thank you cards and I'm making them into note cards so that they're just a one-sided thing and people that I send them to can then reuse them. I'm going to team it with Just Note which is out of the March, April seasonal catalogue that's new and also the sentiments by melissa esplin which is in our core catalogue so let's get started with the first design so the first one i'm going to do i've already done a butterfly version of it now i'm going to do a dragonfly so you can see i've just stamped in the corner here fussy cut around and raised it up so i keep scratch pieces of copy paper that um haven't quite worked or when the ink has run out and what I tend to do when I'm inking up my images especially a large one is I put it down and put the ink pad onto it rather than inking straight up on the pad I apply the ink this way to it so because I'm going to cut around this, I'm going to have it so that the edges are close up to here. So I just need to fussy cut around this area here. Now I'll flip my Versamat over so that I've got the spongy side and I'm leaving it there so the black ink absorbs onto the paper. And then with my scissors, I'm going to cut around the edge. Now this has a fairly detailed outline. Rather than trying to follow it totally exactly, I'm just sort of moving the paper to somewhat mimic the edges of the wings. If I did it all in a straight line, it would look a little bit flat. And this one's a little bit trickier. Usually you trim closer to the image, but I want to keep this negative piece that's quite large to put onto my note card. So you can see I'm totally turning that around. So I'll speed up the rest of this so you don't have to sit there and watch me do the whole entire image. So there's my dragonfly image and then I'm going to take the thank you sentiment from the Melissa Esplin sentiments, ink that up and stamp down here where it will fit. And then it's a case of adhering this to the card panel. So I'll just move that aside. I find it easier to work on a lighter surface when I want to adhere something onto a black panel. To get my dot roller and do the little bits there. Working on an all purpose mat, it won't stick to anywhere but the paper. And you can see that my card panel will fit like this a little bit high. And 
and then I need to apply foam tape to this. These are very simple black and white graphic type cards or card panels. I'm going to use the 3D foam tape, not the thin one. And this will pop it up and give it some separation. And by using the wider one of it, I can just cut some very thin pieces like I have here to go onto the antenna. And because they're thin, you can bend them a little bit to follow the curve. And then it's just a case of simply lining this up. So because there's no space between here, there's no edge around there, it does look like it's just sitting flat on top but a little bit raised. But when you angle the panel, when people hold it, they can see that there is a black area underneath. Now on the back of these, I'm just going to put a panel. So this is what I meant before, if people want to reuse these, they can, they can stick them onto one of our card bases. But I'm going to use the Just a Note, and I'm going to do, today we're going to do three versions using the March Stamp of the Month. So I'm going to do all of this stamping in one go. So I'll just ink up this part and then underneath that I'm going to put the little to tell you thank you and that nestles beautifully underneath this gorgeous writing so I'll go ahead and I'll do the other three panels so that they're all done and ready And now this on the back here is makes this just a thank you note ready for the recipient and for me to gift. All right, let's move on to the next one. I'm going to use the butterfly one now. So I'll just clean this off and attach the butterfly stamp to it and I'll be back with you in a moment. For the next card, we're going to use the butterfly stamp and we're going to do some random stamping for the background and then we're going to stamp the butterfly in black. So I need to bring in my scratch paper again because when you're doing random stamping, you need to stamp off the edges. And I'm using mink ink and this is what I meant before. When you have a very large image, it's easier to apply the ink straight to the stamp with it facing up like that than going around like this to do it. So I'm just coming off the edge of my four inch by five and a quarter inch panel. And then we're going to do some more. And the mink just gives a beautiful soft gray To the butterfly. Now I'm going to rotate this because I don't want all my butterflies around the same way and I'm going to work my way up the panel and fill in the gaps.
So I've done most of the panel. I'm just going to ink up this little tip of the wing here to bring in to fill that little gap. So that's the card panel done. Then I just need to clean off my stamp a little bit and I'm going to stamp this butterfly with black ink and do some more fussy carving. So I've got my black ink that I've inked up my stamp with. I'm just going to leave it a little bit. And that looks great. Now, sometimes it's best to leave the ink to dry just a little bit when before you start cutting it out because when it's a bit wet, you can get the ink on your fingers and smudge it. So I'm also going to stamp a thank you to put on the front of this. So I'll do that while I'm waiting. And then I'm going to just trim that down to as close to the edges as possible because I really want the main part of this thank you note to be the butterfly. And then with a the sponge dauber, I'm just going to go around the edges with some black as I don't want to double mat this one I just want to have a little bit of the black to go around the edge there okay so now I'm going to fussy cut this out and I'm going to trim it down a bit so that it's a bit easier to handle So I have all my pieces. I can start adhering them to the card panel. And there we have a butterfly random stamped on the back. I've done the same thing with the dragonfly. For this one, I used a retired ink, um, Heather, but I think I actually prefer the mink, such a bit more delicate than the Heather. But these are now thank you notes ready to go. And we have one more that we're going to do. No fussy cutting involved for this next one. What I'm going to do is stamp the butterfly on these two two inch square white pieces. So I need to bring in my scratch paper again. I'm gonna ink up my butterfly with black ink. And there's one so I have one going this way the next one I'm not going to put on the same orientation I'm going to alter it just a little and 
and I'm not leaving too much of the white at the top. Sometimes it's really tricky when you're stamping with a smaller section and you've got a large stamp and you don't want it to come off and smudge. So using your tweezers is a good way to remove the stamped piece. Now I've cut two black squares at two and a quarter inches and I'm just going to mat these onto those black squares. I just love this stamp set. The detail with the floral wings is just beautiful. And the graphic black and white makes everything pop really nicely. Once again, I've got a four inch by five and a quarter inch panel, and I'm putting that onto a card base panel, which measures five and a half by four and a quarter. And these are just going to be centered onto this card panel. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room at the bottom to stamp a thank you. Now with the Just A Note stamp set, it's got some beautiful little sayings to say hello, to let you know I'm thinking of you, to say I love you, and I've been using to tell you thank you. But I just want the thank you for here. And so I've done some stamp surgery, but you wouldn't know because you can, they just pop back together so perfectly. And all I want for this is the thank you. And that's just going to sit right here. And it's the perfect little thank you. It's just the right size. Doesn't take away from these images at all. And then the only thing remaining to do with this is to adhere this little note. So there's the butterfly. I've done another note card with the dragonfly. They're very graphic. The black and white really packs a punch. I love how these look. So I'll just clear this off and I'll show you what we've made today for the note cards. And as usual, I've got ink all over my fingers. So I'll just tidy up and I'll just Show you we've got our square panels with the butterfly and the dragonfly we've got this thank you with them popped up just a little bit with 3d foam tape and it doesn't take long to fussy cut around here you don't have to be totally precise and then we have the random stamped backgrounds with a gray ink and then the feature black butterfly on the top or the black dragonfly and all of them have just a note on the back so i hope you've enjoyed today's video showing you how i've used the winged masterpiece march stamp of the month you can use all of these techniques on a scrapbooking layout you can have panels of these running down a page you can do background stamping on a whole 12 by 12 6 by 8 eight and a half by 11, whatever format you're working on with your scrapbook pages. You could do that and then have one image popped up off on your page. And you can do these coming out of the corner of a scrapbooking page as well. So anything you see with note cards or cards, you can convert quite easily to a scrapbooking page. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.